Well, this is Danny Vance at KVIC today, and we have Kevin Woods with us from the Floyd County ATC, and he's the carpentry teacher over there, and uh, got a grant from KVIC this year to build a tiny house. And uh, how are you, Mr. Woods? I'm doing pretty good. How are you, Danny? Oh, uh, pretty good. Tough times, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your project. You know, what did you do this year? Uh, we built, well, just like every year, we built the, uh, the we got the 8 by 24 tiny house with a lean-to roof this something simple design and uh, we went off the budget from last year nineteen thousand forty dollars I think uh -huh. and uh, we got some uh, pretty good donations this year but we couldn't fall through with them until uh, because the school let out uh, uh -huh. like the insulation the plumbing uh, help we get from Sloan's plumbing he comes uh -huh. down there and works with our kids on showing them uh, detailed how to run PEX piping and stuff like that. Why would you choose a project like this? You know, why did you do this? Uh, well, honestly, I didn't choose it. They chose it for me. <laughs> <laughs> boss said do, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's the boss says build a tiny house. We're going to build well, a tiny house. What would you say that your, uh, what has impacted students the most on these, on your tiny house? Impact as as is yeah. hands-on learning. The hands-on, getting able to being able to apply what they learn. That's right. I mean, it's it's sitting in a classroom, and that's not what they want. They want to be right. in the that first thing they ask is if are we going to work on the tiny house or are we going to be in the shop or uh, if we're not working in the shop today, I'm I'm not going to I'm not coming to school tomorrow. Yeah. You know, and so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me know if we're going to do book work. I'll stay home. That's huh? right. That's what they do. I mean, well, and that's real. I know it's real. I've, I've spent 21 years in the classroom, and I understand where you're coming from. That That is what happens sometimes. But I think the, the hands-on is the number one thing. It is. No doubt. That's that's our bread and butter, isn't it? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. That's where we that's where we draw, draw the kids in and keep them and take kids that may not succeed somewhere else. That hands-on gets them it's, in there. Well, you've kind of talked a little bit about this already, but what did you learn from this project? Uh, just learning how to how to – I'd say s scheduling and and keeping things on task. Some people a lot of times look at our jobs as teachers and think, you know, oh, they got it made. It's easy. It's easy. But you put 25 kids in there and then you've got all different levels from these kids and then you try to keep all those on task. It's a tough job, isn't it? That's right. And then that's one, like you said, the, the question, go back to the question. That's one of the things I'm trying to adapt to and learn right. on how to, how to deal with all that, you know, still and, uh, well, I'll, I'll come back in 10 years and you'll have it all figured out. So, yeah, so you're, yeah, right. you're, you're a greenhorn still. What's this, your third year? It is. Uh, is this, no, this is starting second year. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So you're just getting your feet wet. So uh, you, you'll get it all figured out here in a couple of years. Like uh, Mr. Shelton, I see he's joined us over here, the electricity yeah. teacher over at Floyd County. How are you this morning? Tell us a little bit about how, what this project has done for you and your kids and your program. You've, how long have you been teaching now? Six years. Six years. I've been, so you, yeah. I'm on my sixth year. Good, good. Uh, what's your thoughts on the project? Like, uh, you know, uh, why did you do it or how did you do it? How are kids learning? You know, tell us a little bit about your thoughts on the project as a whole, from the electricity side of it. Well, actually, I think it's it's a really good program. Um, I mean, it gives them the hands-on that they're looking for, uh, what what they need once they get out in the field. And that's, that's what I kind of tell them. I mean, if you're doing – it's we're building everything to code. And uh -huh. it gets – I mean – it's the same as building a 2,500 square foot house, but just on a smaller scale. Right. Uh, it, it's a it's a real good opportunity for them. Um, they, um, I mean, just just to get real live work. Uh -huh. And it doesn't give any better hardly, does it? Because you've got from the top to the bottom, the whole breaker box, the everything, the codes with the ground faults and the arc faults, and right. it's all yeah. in there, isn't it? Yeah, we follow the. I mean, we follow the same the same code as if it were if we were wiring a you know a stick bill house, right. um, and I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know. Uh, we talked about this before as far as who approves these, uh, but the, what I what I try to instill in them. I mean, we do a code class, so I mean, I just kind of follow that my my curriculum with the code class, and um, you know, incorporate that into the tiny house. That right. way, they'll have an understanding of what they're doing as we go along. It is good, and that's good to be able to do that to tie the real 
the real world to what you're teaching them in the code. And, you know, the code right. is a boring, that's a boring concept on the high school level, isn't it? <laughs> right. It, yeah, it is. It is. And, I mean, it's it's kind of hard to understand. And, and right. I mean, but if you can, if you can show them as you're going, Right. As you're, as you're, you know, uh, I mean, that kind of, that kind of gives them an idea, you know, that instead of just reading what's in there, they're, they're actually put to apply it. Exactly. So, and I think that's the beauty of what we do. We allow kids to apply what we teach them. And that's our, right. as I told Kevin a while ago, that's our bread and butter, I think. Being able right. to apply learning instead of just reading a theory about it. 